Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my back to school um, supplies haul for 2014 and 2015. Um, I went to Target and Books A Million uh, to get my stuff. I'm going to show you what I bought first and then if you don't want to see what I'm reusing, you can just click out at the end. But if you want to, you can just keep watching towards the end and I'll let you know what I'm going to be reusing. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, I'm going to start with Target first, and I also have the prices listed on the screen whenever I'm talking about them. So. The first thing I got this year was a backpack organizer. It's from the Target Up and Up brand. It has seven pockets. It holds 8.5 by 11 inch paper, durable, reinforced pocket trim, features stay open flap. I decided to get this this year just because... I feel like I'm going to have a lot of papers. I'm going to be a junior, so that's like the hardest year of high school. So, I just want to be prepared for all the stuff that I'm going to get and everything. And I got this kind because I could just leave it un... What's that called? Like, I could just leave it open and then just put the papers in there according to what class I'm in or whatever. I'm going to use this for handouts, um, notes that I've taken, like, on a previous chapter or... Like things I need to get signed for clubs. I'll have a specific um, thing for clubs and that kind of stuff. So yeah. And it does come with a little, let me get it out. It comes with a little um, sheet of this. I don't even know. I don't understand what that's about. I guess if you want to do it like through letters or the month, but I um, won't use that. I'll just know that this is first period, second, third, fourth, fifth, clubs, and then just whatever. And it come, they had black ones, they had different colors, and I just decided to get this blue and green polka dot one. I was going to get a black one, but I thought this one was just a little. Next cute. thing I got was a planner. I decided to get a bigger planner this year. I got a, like, not a travel size, but you know, like the smaller, um, compact size or whatever. And this year I decided to get a big one so I could actually store it in my backpack and it wouldn't get lost in the bottom of my backpack. And this is just the one I got. Um, it's the Mead Weekly Monthly Planner, July 2014 to June 2015. It has tab monthly pages, two bonus months, and a notes page. And it's just this really pretty um, sparkly color, like uh, silver sparkle. And it's sparkly, like it's not glitter, like so when you touch it, like I had to make sure because I was really paranoid that when I touched it, it was going to get glitter all over my hand. But it must have like a spray coat over it or something so it doesn't do that. So I like that. And it's really cute because on the tops of all the pages it has like these little sparkles and it just makes me feel really princessy and everything. So um, in August I already have the first day of junior year written down on there. And then I'll just put like doctor's appointments and um, stuff with clubs. Like if I have a date, I need to have something in by, I can just write it on the monthly page. And then on the weekly pages, I'll just write my homework assignments and stuff like that. So this is always a must for Next me. Next thing I got was a notebook. I always, for the most part, I always end up getting a five subject notebook. It's just easier. I don't use my locker at school, so I carry my books around. Granted, all of the classes don't have books just because we don't have enough at my school. But, you know, some classes there are enough and we do get books, so I have to carry those around. And then I have binders for certain classes or, you know, whatever. So this is just easier. Instead of having five binders, because I have five classes, like we're on block schedule, so 80 minutes per class is really long, whatever, but it works. Five, five classes, this fits everything perfectly because third period technically isn't a, like, it's not something that I'm gonna, like, it's not a full-on class. It's just like an enrichment period. I have yearbook third period this year, so that's what I have. So I don't, like, I'm not, if I need a sheet of paper, I can just rip it out. I don't need a specific section just for that. And um, this is just really good. It's an all-in-one thing. I love the five-star notebooks. I feel like I'm going on and on about this, but this is seriously the best thing you can get. And anyway, this is the five-star by Mead, five college-ruled notebook subject, five-subject college-ruled notebook. It comes with 200 sheets. It says it has new reinforced storage pockets, 
help prevent tears, water resistant covers protect your notes all year, and high quality paper resist ink bleeds. And I got this cute like teal color. I love these pages because they are huge. You don't have to waste as many sheets because you have a really long um, width. Yeah, width of paper. I like college rule the best. And then I like that it has the pockets. You could write on here like what class. I'll probably like write like first period. I'm not going to write the name because I am going to probably reuse this second semester because I don't see me going through all this. But yas, best thing ever. The next thing I got at Target was an index card box from the Up and Up brand. It is a holds three by five inch index cards, five plastic dividers. And it is in this, it looks pink on camera, but in person it's like a peachy coral color. And I put the index cards I got. So I got the um, Up and Up brand index card ruled. Um, it has 100 cards and it has the one side is just plain and then the other side has the lines. And that's just what the book or the package looks like. And the good thing about this little box is you can actually take the dividers out. So say I don't want to divide or say it's the beginning of the year. I haven't had to study for anything yet, so I'm just gonna take these out. And if I do need to separate them for a certain class or something, I can just pop those back in and I have the dividers instantly. And also, note cards are a must for me to study. These things help me so much. The next things I got were Sharpies. I'm always in the need for these, in the need? In need of these? In need of these. And um, I just decided to get them. Um, I can keep one in my room, one downstairs in the kitchen, one in my mom's office, and then one in my pencil pouch that I don't have yet because Target didn't have any cute ones. So I think I'm just going to have to re reuse my one from last year, even though I really don't want to because I don't think I'm going to make it to the store in two weeks. Like, <laughs> But this is the... The original Sharpie marks on most surfaces fine permanent markers and it comes in a pack Next of four. thing is the Sharpie Smear Guard Highlighters. I decided to get two yellow thin ones. These are really good for if your teacher says that you need to know certain stuff for the test. You can underline it or you can highlight a whole phrase, underline a certain word or something. And I always use lose my yellow one, so that's why I just Next got thing yellow. I got were pens. I got two black pens, the Papermate Profile World Smoothest Pen 1.4 mm ballpoint pens. And I love these pens. These um they have the grip, so if you are taking notes, it doesn't like leave that mark on your hand. Like I don't know, that bothers me. And I write really well with these, so I had to get those. The last thing I got from Target was the Swingline Tot Stapler. Um, it has a built-in remover and it has. Um, 1,000 staples with it. Um, yeah, it's just pink, and then there's the box of staples. I wonder how that remover works. I don't know, but I always need a stapler. I said I also went to Books A Million. Um, I'm taking an AP English class, and she said that we needed to read these two books before class started. Don't worry, I didn't procrastinate until two weeks before. This class is second semester, so I have, you know... The whole first semester to read them. I plan on reading them a few times just to make sure I don't get them confused because there are two different books. But I thought these were going to be awful, like just the names and like, you know, like stuff you have to read for school. Oh my god, it's so boring. But these actually sound pretty good. I'm surprised that I actually might like them. I haven't started them or anything. But the two books I have to read is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And this is what I love the cover. I don't know. I also what. have to read The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. I got the 100th, the 100th, the Centennial Edition, and I'm not sure if it's a different one, so I had to go back and exchange it because I thought, I'm pretty sure this is the, like, the original Last one. thing I got for school supplies this year is the dreaded freaking, <laughs> this makes me want to cry even talking about it, the Barons, the Leader in Test Preparation, ACT 400 flashcards, yay, just kidding, no, <gasps> freaking ACT, oh <laughs> god. Oh my god, that was so weird. Well, seriously though, like who wants to take the ACT? Not me. <gasps> but it comes with all these flashcards. These are the English. These are the math. I'm pretty sure these are the science. I don't know. It, oh, I just about dropped all those out. And it also comes with the ring. That was what was in the back. So if you want to take certain ones out and study. It comes with 175 English cards, 150 math cards, 50 science cards, 25 reading comprehension cards, 10 writing cards, and a flashcard ring, sorting ring. So yeah, this will be really helpful. Like I said, I like using, using flashcards to study. 
So I think this will be a very helpful thing for the ACT test. Now, if you want to click out and not watch what I'm reusing, you don't have to. So bye, thanks for watching. But if you want to keep watching and see what I'm going to reuse, then so like go. I said, I'm probably going to have to reuse the same pencil pouch. So this is the one I used last year. It is the Life Isn't About Finding Yourself, Life Is About Creating Yourself um, quote by George Bernard Shaw. It's not the cutest, but whatever. Um, I have some of the stuff I'm going to be reusing. I'm going to be re reusing my SanDisk Cruiser 4GB. I just delete this stuff on it from the previous year. I've had this since like 7th or 8th grade and it's still going strong. You just delete the stuff off of it. You don't really need it every year. And I also have some colored highlighters because I just got those yellow ones. I'm going to use the Sharpie Gel Highlighters. And I love these because they don't, like they're gel, so when you use them, they don't um, smear your words and it's just easier. So I have a pink, an orange, and a green. And I also have the same type of pins that I got the black ones in. It's just the colored ones because I lost the black ones, so I decided to get those. Uh, it comes with a purple, a pinky color, a green, a blue, a red, and an orange. I'm probably not going to bring all these at one time, but, you know, just need them. I'm also going to be reusing pencils. I got this huge pack of pencils last year, and I didn't go through it, so why not just reuse them instead of having to buy a new pack and then just have these sitting in a drawer. So these are the big pencils, 26 mechanical pencils, 0.9 mm lead, number two pencils, so you can use them on your Scantron test. These are my favorite pencils. They're really cute. They're, they last for a pretty long time. And the last yeah. thing I'm reusing is my backpack. This is a Vera Bradley backpack. I looked online and they still have this version of a, the backpack, but just not the color. So I don't know if this color was discontinued or what, but they still have this type of backpack. So if you like the style, they just have different colors of it. Um, I suggest getting a durable backpack now. Maybe spend a little bit more money now. So you don't have to later. This backpack I've had since freshman year. It's going strong. Or maybe even, no, it was freshman year. Yeah, freshman year. And this is going really strong. Um, it just, it equals the same amount if you get a new backpack every year. Like this, I just had to buy one time instead of having to buy a new one every year. So equals out, whatever you want to do. So it comes with this big pocket. And then up here, it has a place for your ID card, like your student ID. And if you want to put, I put post-it notes and stuff in there. And then it has two little pencil holes and it has another little pocket. And then it has this pocket here. And I don't really put my calculator, my calculator, where's that at? Oh, I'll show it to you in a minute, it's in the backpack. And then it has that same type of concept here, just without the ID card holder. And then it has a big pocket here. I've already tried to film this video three times and this was really hard to show. So it's just this deep pocket. And my calculator's in here and I'm also gonna reuse this. I've had this since seventh or eighth grade too. This is just a, not a basic calculator, but it has like exponents and parentheses and it's pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that expensive. And this is the Casio FX 300 MS. And this is what we used to use before we used graphing calculators. So I just bought this so I could do my homework at home with the same calculators at school and I wouldn't have to learn the different um, functions and everything. That's it for my 2014-2015 back to school supplies haul. And if you liked this, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any requests, um, leave them down below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.